I don't look today. 10 out of 10, bro. Anyways, I can't wait to get the, um, the seat cleaned. We, um, I had my nieces and nephew over in my car like a couple of months ago and they've messed my seats up. So I'm not happy about that. So I'm so excited. We've got like a specialist who like deals with like seats and stuff. So he's coming to get our seats cleaned for us. It's quite hard because our seats are swayed. So we need like a specific person to come do it for us. Where's the hand sunny gone? Oh, where's hand sunny? Oh, there it is hand sunny. Look at him. What are you, what are you trying to Gem freak. Got I wanted done. to use hand sunny even before this thingy. Got to be done now, especially now. 2020. What what, what have you done? Half a tank. Half a, yo, my man half tanked it, you know. It's going to last us a good. It's going to last. Anyways, hello. Watching me vlog. Hi, how are you? <laughs> You're right, mate. <laughs> hey, Fona, honestly. Fona, Fona. Anyways, to the park. With him. Where is the park? Which way is it? I forgot. Oh, yeah. Hello, Aussie. How are you? and it looks amazing it looks fabulous the before you and don't after know how much dirt you have in there it was crazy until you clean it i know like Whoa. we literally thought our seats are clean because it's like to be honest hardly anyone goes in our car so it's usually just us two but i mean like when our like family comes in a car like they're pretty clean so i didn't think it was going to be that messy because it's black you can't see it yeah dirt, but it? because we have suede seats oh my god the amount of dirt that came out of our car on the seats it was disgusting Damn. it was Damn. So yeah, um, definitely if you guys are interested in getting your seats cleaned and if you guys are based in Leicester, um, I'll leave his page linked down below. But I would definitely recommend it because he did an amazing job and we were actually really happy with it, weren't we? Good service as well. He's a good guy. Good service. And he's like a new startup business. So let's help his business. Come on. Yeah, let's help his business. Let's get his name out. I'm all here for helping other people's um, new business startups. So yeah, get him. Give him some business, guys. Honestly, we'd recommend it because our car looks amazing now. So, yeah. Okie dokie, what time is it? Car wash time. Car wash time. This is my goodie bag, goodie box. Everybody, all of this. He's literally got everything you need for the car. Everything. Everything, everything, everything. Look, you guys, nice and clean. Just how we like it. It smells literally amazing in here. I literally spritz all like the flora and stuff. So it smells amazing. 
Brand new spanker, eh? Spanker. You guys, this is Adol after cleaning the car. And he fast take and clean the car thoroughly. Who would inside his wall? Not the one in it. Uh, Tiring in it. And I could neck a bottle down. Do not look at this bottle. This is for when we break off fast. Oh. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I am just laying in bed, as you do. Um, I'm reading my Quran now. I am. Um, I just wanted to know what juzi are you guys on? Alhamdulillah, this Ramadan I am so happy to announce that I am on track. So I will be reading um, juzi 16 today, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I am going to continue reading. But let me know what juzi you guys are on, and if you guys are reading it, or if you guys are learning it, or I know some of you guys are probably like doing half years and trying to learn the Quran. So let me know down below. But is no competition. Even if you're on just at one or two, there's literally no competition whatsoever. As long as you're trying and you're doing your bit, that's all that matters. So, um, so don't be hard on yourself because you know what? Last Ramadan, I was like really hard on myself because I tried so hard to like finish the Quran, but I didn't. And then I was just like really upset and stuck. I was like, why couldn't I do it? This is this. But for some odd reason last year i found it a lot harder than this year and the secret to that guys the more you read the more familiar the words will sound to you and the more easier it is to read the quran that's what i learned um from my experience so me like starting to read the quran from the beginning i found it really hard and i was reading a lot slower but now coming to watch just at 16 alhamdulillah like i'm a lot faster and i think it is because obviously i've been reading a fin so yeah therefore it's a lot easier for me alhamdulillah so yeah let me know does someone text me yeah anyway so yeah let me know what jersey you guys are on down below and we just washed the bed sheets so the bed just smells amazing and you just want to lay here and i could literally have a have a nap i know adult could have a nap that's for sure because he was literally ko downstairs <laughs> but um yeah the bed sheets are so relaxing anyways I'm going to continue reading, but I thought I would just check in with you guys again with my bloody oily forehead. But yeah, I thought I'd check in with you guys. So we're just making iftar and for today, we are going to have basically yesterday's leftovers. Now we have a lot of food from yesterday, as you guys would have seen in yesterday's vlog, alhamdulillah. So we have the gobi that we made. Um, we also have rice biryani and I made us some amazing cheese balls just over here i'm just gonna fry them uh, i'm gonna just cover them in breadcrumbs and then fry them i'll show you guys fry. yeah i'll show you guys how it looks obviously when it comes out and stuff like that but it is literally the easiest recipe ever guys if we look a bit crazy we just woke up from a nap lol and um, we thought we'd have a little nap after asr because there wasn't much prep to do anyways because we've obviously done everything so yeah we look a bit crazy i think you know what what it was the sun got to us a little bit yeah. i think we were out washing a car for way too long that the sun cleaning got the to car, us a little... but me. yeah cleaning the car um cleaning the car so i think the, i think the sun got to us a little bit so we were literally just laying in bed reading quran and then somehow we fell asleep i don't even know how but we fell asleep guys we took a little photo shoot um in the um, garden today it was so <laughs> funny we took like different angles is that any other we thought urban photo shoot the urban photo shoot it was actually, white gang yeah because we're representing both of us so we thought you know what why not do a little photo shoot moment <laughs> and it actually came out quite good so head over to my instagram amina.chevy to check that out but um yeah i felt like it was a good a cute little photo shoot you know Yep. Cute. Guys, look how amazing the cheese balls came out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me show you guys a little true representation of how cheesy and yummy it is. Okay, are you guys even ready? Let me show you guys a real close up moment. Yeah, satisfying. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Does it taste nice? Yummy in it. Yummy. Mm -mm -mm. A few moments later. Okay guys, you know what time it is. It is time for our little stroll. Of course. Do you feel like these strolls like benefit you? Like do you feel better yeah. after it? Yeah. Hundred percent. Like I know I do. Like, you know, when you when you've had a big ass iftar alhamdulillah. 
And you know what? The worst thing to have yeah, when you break your fast today, isn't it? The worst thing to have when you break your fast is rice because it just makes you so sleepy. Guys. So these little walks after iftar, I would definitely recommend it. Because if you just sit after you eat, your weight is just gonna go on your belly. It's not gonna look cute, you know? I was actually looking at my belly today, guys. A bit of TMI. But um my belly's actually gotten a lot flatter. I'm actually so proud of myself. <laughs> so yeah, guys, a little workout, whether it could be a little stroll, a little walk, a bike ride, like home workouts, so important to do every single day. Is it? Especially now that we're in quarantine, like you gotta stay active, you know? You gotta stay active. And yeah, these walks are definitely doing it for me. Like I've seen a massive difference. Even though I haven't tried I haven't been trying to eat healthy or anything like that, you guys you guys see our iftars every day. And we do we do enjoy a good grub, don't we? <laughs> How good were the cheese balls? Yeah, it was really nice. Cheese oh bites. my god. Did it tastes it? like it's jalapeno cheese bites, like the one from Burger King. It was literally amazing, alhamdulillah. Like it was so tasty. Mm, just thinking about it right now. But we created a really easy recipe. That literally takes no time whatsoever and it literally tastes amazing. So if you guys are interested in seeing that recipe, let us know. Three we, ingredients. Literally, pretty much. No, it? four. Four ingredients. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So if you guys are interested in seeing it, then do comment down below and let us know. Strollings. It's actually that warm that he's not even wearing a coat. Yeah, it's warm. Sick in it. Humid. Tomorrow's Summer, a different day. Summer, where you at though? Tomorrow's a different day. Yeah, today it was 23 degrees, but apparently tomorrow it's going to be 11. A massive comparison. Windy and rainy. So it's probably going to be one of them chilled ones at home, you know, one of them ones in it. Sunday's lazy day. <laughs> Guys, we were actually watching a documentary on Netflix recently. It's with Obama's wife, isn't it? Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama, and it was actually really interesting. It's something about her book or something, yeah. wasn't it? So she just talks about her life after the White House and how her life yeah, obviously how dramatically they become, changed. How they became the yeah, how they became president and, and the how life their life changed and afterwards. Yeah, it was so interesting because like they were just normal people like just going about their day, and he was very into like what politics or something. Yeah. And then he got elected to obviously become president, and he was so sick. Like yeah. he should have remained a president because he was so cool. And we were like definitely for them in it. And now, bloody Nora, <laughs> country's going down, mate. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Do not blonde. demonetize me, YouTube. Blonde, okay. Murder tata. Murder tati. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy. Yeah, that guy there. Anyways, yeah. What's happened to the country, mate? I ain't, I ain't about that life, you know. I'm there. <sighs> That was a walk and a half, wasn't it? Yeah. We went for a good 45 About minute walk. our future. Inshallah. Oh. So we went, yeah, it's good to just kind of walk and talk. And the weather was amazing. Like it wasn't cold whatsoever. Yeah. No wind, nothing. And then I haven't been out with just a t-shirt in a long time. I know, at 10 o'clock at night. So it's literally <laughs> crazy. But yeah, the weather was so cool. Anyways, I think we are going to end it here. I am going to, obviously you guys know my routine. Oh. I'm going to sit and start oh, well, editing like this here. vlog for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if day, you guys did it? don't get smashed that thumbs up today's been a good day actually it's been i wouldn't it's say been it's been a hot minute as you would say. it's been a hot minute it's been a hot minute that's for sure yeah it's actually really good it's, it's actually, been a cold minute it's actually really warm i just want to like ah uh, just take everything off take your belt off take my belt off i've been wearing like all day anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did smash that thumbs up and head over to our second channel a a kitchen because we have some new recipes up for you guys some really cool recipes that you can try out for um iftar if you haven't already would definitely recommend it because it's so nice yep. and yummy and support us subscribe share the journey share it with your friends and family support our little journey our new adventure it's something that obviously Adol is very passionate about and something obviously I wanted to share it with him. 
And we both actually really enjoy cooking, so it's something cute. Yeah, yeah. Also, guys, one more thing I wanted to just mention. I will also leave the my charity link down below for you guys to donate. Like I mentioned, I am trying to raise £2,000 by the end of this Ramadan. We have, what, 14 days left. So if all of you guys could donate a tenner, because there's like literally thousands of you guys watching. If you, all of you guys donated a tenner, we would literally do it in no time whatsoever. And now more than ever, it's so important to give charity. And we're coming towards the last 10 days of Ramadan. And now that is amazing to give charity. Um, later to Karada could be any day. So yep. um, I'll leave that link down below for you guys too. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we shall catch you guys in tomorrow's vlog, inshallah. We should Shalom. love you and leave you. Salams. <laughs>